All right, and welcome back, welcome back. That was an amazing segment there inside the kitchen. And it smelled so good in there. I was behind the scenes, you know, t um, being fast, like we say in a grill, but it was so amazing. The <laughs> smells of the lobster and the pasta and the cilantro and everything is good. Well, I'll tell you what, there were two persons who came down, uh, two who tasted and said, my goodness, they remind me of one, uh, they, they reminded me of Dora's backpack. Yum, 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 <laughs> delicioso. <laughs> so it was delicious, the food that we and had there. And it's amazing how quick it took. Yeah, just about just about 10 minutes. Yes. And that's, that's what you call one of those um, uh, quick dinner, uh, TV, not TV dinner, but mm -hmm. quick dinner, you know, yeah. uh, if you want to... Uh, like you said, date night. Date night, you know, <laughs> yeah, I said it's one of those. But what do we have lined up next? Next, we have a video clip because we have a team from Belize that's going to the World Poker Tournament in Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. And so before the team left, uh, we had our own Duane Moody do an interview with the team. And so we're going to shoot to that clip. And then when we come back, we're going to have a informational video on how to play poker. So that's what we have lined up now. Here we plan for though, a lot better than last year, right? Last year I'm a little bit too excited, I think. And I think that hold me back a little bit. This year I feel a lot less, um, how do you say it? Yeah, a lot less nervous and um, I feel ready for it. I feel, I feel ready for represent Belize, you know, this tournament. Yeah. Now, a number of the players, like yourself, uh, had to battle through a tournament within Belize yeah. to be able to become a part of the group. Uh, how do you think, tell me about that experience. All right, we had um, five tournaments, I believe it was five, mm -hmm. um, that we had to advance, right? Um, I advanced four out of the five times, so I feel pretty good about that. And then the last one, the one that really count, um, actually make it to the final. So. That'd, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. I mean, a good feeling. That like, uh, you feel like, um, like, all right, this meant to be feeling. You know that. Yeah. You know, then get away there, right? So, that, that, that's nice to me. Mm -hmm. Last year's experience was really memorable. We had a lot of fun, and we represented Belize well, in my opinion. And this year, I think it's only going to be better. We all feel really good about the trip this year. The team's a lot more experienced, and I think as far as unity goes, we will be there for one another more than we were last year. Um, I think we're going to be starting on two separate days as opposed to everybody starting the same day last year. So we actually will have a party rooting for us while we're at the table. At the end of the day, the same thing as last year. We're there to have fun. We're there to represent, and I'm pretty sure we will do a lot better than we did last year. On Saturday the 25th, it's round two for Team Belize at the World Series of Poker Monster Stack event in Las Vegas, Nevada. Channel 5 will be joining them once again this year, but of course for those non-poker players who really want to keep up with the game, I'm here at the Big Slick Poker Room at the Princess Hotel and Casino, where the players are going to teach me some of the lingo and some of the hands that you need to know during our coverage. Let's go. Normally in poker, we play five, the best five cards. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, at this hand, we don't have any pair. So we start off with high card being ace, queen. Ace, queen, nine, five, deuce. So even this hand could win. This is like the lowest hand you could have, like high card. After the high card is a pair. Okay. Like pair of aces, we say queen. Mm -hmm. After the pair, we have two pairs. Mm -hmm. So in this hand, aces, a nine with two, mm -hmm. two pairs. The next level up is three of a kind. Three of a kind just simply means three of the same cards. In this state, three aces, trip aces. After three of a kind, we have the straight. Straight is a five card straight. This one is a five high straight, starting from ace being one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Five high straight. And it's any sequence. Any sequence, five. So it could be um, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Mm -hmm. Any sequence. Once it's five in a row. The next level up after the straight is the flush. Okay. Flush simply means five cards of the same suit. Mm -hmm. Either being clubs, diamonds, hard or speed. You don't don't necessarily have to be only speed as is presented. The next level up after the flush is the full house. Okay. All what the full house is, 
is a three of a kind with one pair. And we call it the full house, but it's nines full of fours, full house. The next level up would be quads, four of a kind. The, the lowest would be quads deuce, four deuces, and the highest being four aces. But in this, in this hand, we have four nines, and it has to be five cards. So any other card, it doesn't really matter, but it's quads nine. Very strong hand. The next level up is gonna be the straight flush, which is the second highest hand. We have the straight flush. As the word implies it, is a straight and a flush. Straight and a flush. So it's a sequence card of the same suit. It could be diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades. It doesn't really matter, but once it's in a sequence and flush, it's known as the straight flush. And the hand that everyone knows in poker, because in the old days, all the poker movies, mm -hmm. they had the straight flush with the ace of spades. The ace high flush, known as the royal flush. Royal, supreme, best. The monster stack doesn't necessarily mean the stack. A stack simply means 20 pieces. Okay. That's what a stack is. 20 pieces, 20 pieces of five is gonna be 100. So the stack of five is gonna be 100 and a complete stack of 25 is 500. Okay. And we play our US dollars here. Okay. Right now we are gonna play a 510 Texas Hold'em, no limit. So she institutes a card for each player and Jack being the highest card, counting from the dealer's left hand, right? The left hand? Yeah. The left hand is one, two, I'm the third player, so I get the button. Mm -hmm. The button implies where the game's gonna start. So the person to my left is gonna be the small blind and the big blind. Mm -hmm. We're playing 5-10, hold them, no limit. Blinds, please. So we have the big blind, small blind. What's, what's the purpose of the big blind, small blind? The big blind and the small blind is just to get the betting started in the game. It's institute that the big blind is gonna be the, av the average bet that's gonna continue. So the small is always half the big blind and then to call, it's gonna be the, the big blind. So when you say call, you're putting what the big blind is? Yes. When you raise, it's more than the big blind? Yes. Minimum double, unless you're going all in. No, dealers for Texas Hold'em is two cards per player. Mm -hmm. You could play just the five best cards. Okay, so this is pre-flop? Pre-flop. All right, now, Typically, you won't show your hands, right? No. Nope. So, because we're trying to teach everybody at home the basics of poker, we can show them and you guys can tell me what you would do with the hand that you have, right? We good with that? Yeah. All right. Nobody will tell that hand. All right. A king and a ten. Yeah, and suited. suited. And it's suited. All right. So, you call. So, he could be going for a straight, a king high, ace high straight, uh, flush. I card there. Mm -hmm. I call because I'm suited also with a small suited. Okay. Right. That's how so. You already have me beat if it's a bigger. But you wouldn't know. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, know. yeah. Okay, so you fold it. You know, the reason I fold is because they already have four players behind me and my cards is far apart. So and I don't know what other option will be because they have three more players acting after me. Okay. Card. That's a uh, super suit card, but if anybody may raise bigger, I would afford this because this is too small mm -hmm. card. But just because it's a car and it's not a raise, I just call because it's suited. Normally, if we're not showing cards, I would raise mm -hmm. because I'm on the button so that everyone with a weak hand, like him, would fold. And I'm holding king high, but a flush draw as well. But they don't know that, so I'm the last to act. So if they check, I could actually steal the pack. Okay. I'm the swiper. If, uh, you fool. Yeah. I mean, that's a terrible hand. Okay. I'm going to fold this because I'm the big blind. Normally, I get the option to raise or to call. But because these are not suited, I'm going to dump it. But right now it's it's back to him. Okay, yeah. it's back to him. Yeah. Well, yeah. he raised me. Yeah. So I'm gonna raise him back. You mm. see what really he raised on. 
-hmm. But if the cars are not showing, he would have just called. Well, yes. Yeah. If the cars are not showing, he has okay. said, I got big pockets. Yeah. So he would never raise. Yeah. Never raise. Yeah. I like people to bully me, so. <laughs> That's true. Regardless <laughs> uh, if I win or lose, I don't care. He, <laughs> he, he tried to bully me on the party. All right, good. So what we'll do is we'll squash this hand at this point and we'll play an actual yeah. round, yeah. right? After every hand, the dealer moves the button to keep the blinds running. So the next pair is going to be small blind and big blind. She will move it. He was the small blind just now. So he's going to be the small blind and the next pair is going to be the big blind. So everyone has a turn to hit the blinds. So once you get your hands, the three options are call the same amount that yeah. you had, raise more than that, fold, you don't want to play this round. Pockets, it's you got two, two of the same cards. Two queens, two kings, two ace, two deuce, three, four, five, whatever, they have to be the same. It's a pair, mm -hmm. that's a pocket. Yeah. Before the flop, the flop. Yeah, have to burn, a burn a card. Burn, burn a, a card. card. The flop is three cards. Okay. One of you, Ayana. Lady. Yes, from the flop. This is the flop, three cards. After the flop, there's a turn, so I have to burn another card and put out the next card, which is the turn. And then there's one more card. So I burn another card, and then I put out the river card, the last card. That's it, Medic. The pair of kings won because we played the five best cards out of the seven. His best hand is kings over fives and with ace high. Mm -hmm. Two pairs, kings and fives with ace, and the other gentleman had queens and fives with ace. So king, king's trump queen, so he wins. Poker 101 also includes learning a bit about the vocabulary. And uh, if you ever sat around poker players, you know that they speak a whole different language sometimes. So we're gonna get a, a basic vocabulary lesson from the players um, so that we can understand a bit more during our coverage. Okay, one word that our players like to hear is there's a fish in the house. A fish is just someone that gives away the chips, like, here, take it, take it, take it, take it. Well, you actually take it from them, but they just give it away. And the upper to a fish is a whale that comes and gives you the whole tray. It means they're a bad player. <laughs> Very bad player. So and they're going to give you money because they're not good at playing. And they have good bank, and we love them. Okay. As players. <laughs> All right. Other words? Tilt. What's tilt? When a player go lose a big pot, like he just get frustrated, like, oh damn, I want my money back, you know. Pre-flop, I'm gonna bet all this. Call me now, you know, I don't care. He will call with the worst hands. Just try to make some money. You just, you lose your mind. Tilt, AKA, psychologically damaged. <laughs> right? Chicken. Chicken? That's, What's chicken? That's why you refer to people that are scared to call it. Oh. <laughs> Taitos. Taitos. Uh, Taitos. 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 Other players are terms that you know, and tight. That's me when they bet, you know, they have something good in their hand. So if you go up against them, you guys got something closer, a little better. Probably. All right, so then loose is? Loose is just, just bet anything. Right. Change yeah. five, yeah. change yeah. four, anything. That's what the fish. You know? oh, okay, yeah. so fish. That a loose player would be a fish. Yeah. And a chop? What's a chop? If two players have the same hand, two or more players have the same hand, after the five cards have been dealt. So chop simply means we split the money inside the pot evenly. A big uh -huh. slick, as you can see up in front, has an ace and a king. Like the name of the poker. Yes, room. it's ace and king, that's big slick. Oh. Hence the reason we are big slick poker room. Some people take it as gambling, and well, me and well, myself, and I believe other poker players would say it's a sport because they have different skills and strategies for the game. A, a skill like, where, for example, a skill that you may want to learn is um, how to read 
your, um, your opponent um, read his different tells. Mm -hmm. By reading his tells and stuff, you can outplay your opponent, um, even though he might have the stronger hand or the winning hand. You know, I just love the game. The game, I've been playing the game for like, been for 10 years now, you know? Mm -hmm. And the game is a life change. A lot of fun in it, you know? You get to meet a lot of people, counteract you. All kind of people, you know? Worldwide, international wise, you know. So eventually, you know, one day you're gonna get lucky. To me, it's a sport, and you know, um, well, when everybody think about sports, they say you know that physical thing or something like that. But you know, this you to work out a different part of your body. It's the brain. So, like what Taron said, it's a psychological game, and. You know, people consider it gambling because you know you you gotta put in money into it. But you know, what sport doesn't invest money? It's a lot of fun, and it's a chance so you can go far in the U.S. and you can win a lot of money. <laughs> and all you need is just luck, a lot of luck. Here at Big Slick Poker Room, which is Hotel and Casino, yeah. uh, we here we do it's like a more family rating gambling here in Poker Room. Because um, it's the same players every week, same time, same place. To me, poker is just a part of entertainment to us. Entertainment, that's it. We give a professional service for the dealing. Our staff, the waiting staff, we have lodging area. We just give you an experience as a place to go, as an alternative. Instead of, you know, you just hang out on the street or you go to the bar and stuff like that. Come to the poker room. We will, we will indulge you in your entertainment in poker playing. You will enjoy yourself and you will get your money worth. But come with a budget. <laughs>